say you like practice for a particular concept, but you want to customize it and make it your own. To do that, click on the View Practice option, and next to Preview, click Customize. From here, it will create the start of a CK12 quiz. That's true if you click it from within a 2.0 Flexbook or elsewhere if you're browsing practice on our site. Here, the first thing you're going to want to do is create a new title. In this case, we're going to talk about water distribution quiz because that will help me use it because then I have the title and reference point as I move forward. From here, I can choose the number of attempts if I want to limit attempts, time limit. If I'm using this as practice versus an actual quiz, I might want to leave the show hints option there. And maybe even allow students to pause and resume their work as they're picking up practice and going from one place to another to continue it. Now our system will usually default to about 20 questions out of the available questions for a particular topic. From here you could say, I really only need, let's say, 10 questions for this quiz. At that point in time, I can click outside. It's going to pull a brand new set of 10 questions. It's going to just remind me that it's pulling a new set and any changes I have made are being reset with a variety of easy, medium, and hard and multiple different types of questions. From there, I can go ahead in and edit the questions themselves, picking and choosing which ones I want to include, loading and previewing them accordingly, and then deselecting or selecting any other ones, and adjusting the order as is. I can even add my own questions to a quiz by clicking the Add Question Set and writing my own questions. I can save this. Now you'll see that I have nine questions because I deselected one. And I can even go ahead and add other question sets from across the content that we have on CK12 or click Create New Questions and write my own tag to a lesson in my library. Once I'm done adjusting my quiz and customizing it accordingly, I'm going to click Update. And now I have this quiz available for me as a standalone quiz or for other uses across our site.